Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Entertainment Quarterly. I'm Roger West, and I gotta ask you a question. Do you recognize the space around me? If you do, it might be because you're a fan of the world's most famous television program, The Truman Show, where Truman Burbank is the only non-actor the entire show and does not know that his life is being recorded. Now, don't worry, Truman's in his 20s now, and he's in college, so we don't have to worry about him, you know, entering the set while we're shooting this interview. Now, I could not be happier tonight to be joined by two of The Truman Show's showrunners, Mike Ebert and Mike Flynn. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Pleasure thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, so, my first question I've got to ask. I feel like there's a lot of challenges to shooting a show of this caliber. I mean, the production is huge. You're simulating an entire town. So, what are some of the challenges that come with shooting The Truman Show? Yeah, well, I'll tell you. The, probably the biggest challenge that we came across was was during his teen years, he, he, he wouldn't stop jerking off. He would jerk off all the time. And, and it was, it was I, out, I, I think hours of unused say, footage. I, and I, I think what Mike's trying to say is that, you know, when every teenage boy gets to a certain age, there's certain difficulties that every parent has to get through. And not those we were those walking are through, you know, no. every problem nope. this child was having as if we were his own parents. So, um, what about one of your pr the proudest moment? What would be one of the proudest moments on the show for you guys? There's just so many moments that stood out. I mean, it's kind of well, hard I'll, to Well, I'll tell one. you what our, even... what our least proud moment was. It was this, this, one, this one weekend we sent him to this Catholic retreat in hopes to get him to stop jerking off. Oh, my God. Because and, and we, we thought it would shame him, but, but it angered him. And... I've never seen him do it so much in his life. This unusable footage that I went a week without eating. Every time I, I look I, I at think, I think what Mike's trying to say is we, we, we really put our life into our work. And so, I mean, every time that I Truman didn't failed, it felt like we were with him. Truman? Truman, cut it out. We can hear everything. The house is paper thin walls. I, I, I would say that uh, you know one of the proudest moments that we witnessed was uh, probably when he was riding his bike for the first time, right? When he was six. Nice back then. Truman, sweetie? Truman, uh, your grandma's here. She wants to say hi. Can you come outside, Truman, please? Mike? Yes. yes. Mike Flynn. Um, so you kind of work the financials, you know, you're in production accounting, head of production accounting, um, and you know, of uh, shooting such a massive production, it's got to have a lot of costs. So what are some of the financial challenges that come with shooting The Truman Show? You know, I mean, an experiment of this size has never really been done before. And so when you think about the amount of people that have to, you know, really commit their lives to this, I mean, the amount of actors, the amount of set designers, the amount of people who were I mean, we, we had to hire and real every teachers. every time he jerked off, the studio lost $800,000 every time he jerked off. Now, now think about that for a second. How much money is, that is of just, like, we had to stop paying the actors as much. We had to cut the It cost salaries. me so much money. It cost, I was honestly yeah. like, just like over the roof. Just, sorry. I, yeah. I, it almost ruined you. It, it almost ruined me. I refinanced he, my house. Yeah. I got divorced. Talk to your agent. I mean, my mind is freaking out. Freaking out. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do. I can't get another job after this. I'm I'm the dad. Everyone knows me as the dad. I, you think I can go back to the fucking strip club? That's what you did? Yes. Yeah, eight hundred thousand dollars. The cast and the crew suffered. They lost a lot of money. And the extras, we had to lay off so many people that live in this town. We were yeah. And lead poisoning is how we how we solved it. Because Truman, he began to wonder why his friends kept disappearing. So we decided that we'd if, if I could you just, know, have a we lot of his friends die. We were considering production to Georgia, Canada. We were even thinking about China. No. Does that answer your question? Well, this has been Entertainment Biannually. I'm Roger West, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, America. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, you. You're gonna die. Probably soon. And you haven't even tried the new Mountain Spring soda yet? What the hell are you doing? Get it today.